Hello everybody, it's me, the Great Big Ben. I'm back for another reaction video, because I want to. Okay, if you haven't noticed that it looks different because I changed my setup, I'm now using dual monitors. I'm not gonna show you right now, I'm gonna just put a picture on the screen right here. Anyways, album reaction. We are listening to Soft Scars. Wait, there we go. By Yuyo, I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Now, the only thing I know about this artist is that she made an album and has a song that's like four hours long. Yeah, look right here. Four fucking hours. I haven't listened to the album yet. This is like literally going to be my first album from this person. All right, yeah, let's just get into it. It's like only 40 minutes long, so it should be that bad. It's got really high ratings as well. It's the fifth highest rated album on album of the year so far. The fifth highest rated album of 2023. Let's go. I knew it was going to be a glitch album going into it. That's like the only thing I really know. Damn, that's hard. This is the first f***ing song, it sounds like this. The change up, what? Damn. It's back to the heavy now. Wow, this like literally my first song from this. It's my first song from this artist. This is hard as f Oh my god. I don't know why the cover reminds me of like some Aphex Twin. This looks like a cover Aphex Twin would have. Just replace it with the, his face on here and then it'd be an Aphex Twin cover. Damn, that first song was hard as f Oh my god, so heavy as well. That's I mean, that's a that's a 90 for me. That's so good. My first track from them, like ever. That was really good. Ooh. I'm getting Porter Robinson vibes from this. Whoa. Oh my god. This is the first actual good album that I'm listening to right now. Just hope the rest of the songs ain't sh I got a smile on my face. I got a little smile on my face. Oh my god. This song's doing something to me. Damn. Ugh. That was a shitty ass burp, I don't know why I did that. Oh my god, that was so good. That was such a good song. Oh my fucking god. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna give that a 100. That was, that was insanely good. I don't care what anyone else thinks, okay? That was a 100 to me. Whoa. Oh, the bass on that. I'm kind of mesmerized by this right now. That's why I'm not really doing much commentary. That's what happens when something's good, right? I just try to listen to it. When something, I just talk. No, I know what else is sweet and sticky. Shut up, bitch.
Oh, that transitions in next track. That was sexy. That's my fetish. Shout out my LGBTQ people in there. You have to be autistic to be special. Literally the first four tracks and I already f this whole album. It's so good so far. Look at me dancing like a f***ing dickhead. I was pretty good as well, but so far, I probably gave it an 85. I don't think it was as good as the other songs. The other songs are literally almost like perfect, especially Sulky Baby. That was an amazing song. But we're not talking about Sulky Baby, we're talking about For You I Want Too. Yes, it was very good. Not in the 90 range though, so. Shout out Billy the Ghost Hunter. Maybe a new video will be coming soon about that. Yeah, <laughs> the f the very sexy album, literally and figuratively. So pretty. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at the fact that I find this so good. This is my next album I'm gonna have sex to. Yo, look, we just came in contact with Evil Andy. He's eating f***ing healthy food. Yo, look at this. Evil Andy's back. Ghosts was really good. I'm gonna give that a 95. I don't think it was perfect though. Oh my god, that was a hard opening. I like how she does that all the time. She starts off with, like really heavy, distorted sounds and then she just goes to like a guitar or violin. That's always so nice. Yes. It's so nice how you can get like um, all these distorted sounds and yet you can make them sound pretty. I don't know how it works. This is like a new scientific discovery right now and it's being put into music of all things. You better stay away from her. She's mine. I'm gatekeeping this. She f***ing for a sample? That's hard. That's hard if it's true. That was another really good song as well. I think I'll just- I, I'll just give it a 90. That feels right. Yeah. Daisy's getting oh. 90. F***ing love piano music, bro. Piano's like one of my favorite instruments ever.
Damn, man. Didn't even have to sing, and it was so beautiful. Fuck. I was not something I was expecting, just an entirely piano song on this. And yet, it gets a 95. I know, it's like the lowest rate one there. Why? Come on, man. Did no one else listen to this thing? Already a hard opening. And straight to guitar. As I said before, she contrasts those so well. Damn! Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! This is so good! This is way better than CMF2! CMF2 is nowhere near this shit. Ooh, that one kind of transitions well. Yeah, that's pretty good, but I wouldn't give it a 90. I'd probably just get an E5. Look, none of these are below 85. That's a big step up, especially because I don't like most of the albums that came out this year. Most of the albums that came out this year are really, really sh**. So I'm glad this exists. Damn, we're getting cinematic with this f***ing song. Oh my god. Another great song. That one gets a 90 from me. Thank you, Inferno. I will happily burn in hell listening to this album for the rest of my life. Yeah, this is the most interesting love album I've listened to so far. Yeah, relatable. We had a song there that had very relatable lyrics. I'm, I'm pretty sure every human has experienced those lyrics at least once. Okay, so far that was the lowest one. It was still really good, but I give it an 80. That's like the lowest one so far. Imagine the album being that good that the lowest is an 80. Oh, listen to that guitar in the back, oh my god. Yo, damn that guitar is so f***ing hard. Oh sh**.
Damn. Sexy song, sexy ass album. Damn. Damn. Okay. Sex on the beach. That's a 90 from me. Oh my god, look at this song. It's called Aphex Twin. We were just talking about him at the start of the video. That's okay. That it, that has to be where the inspiration comes from of the album cover now. I ain't no cat. Yo, shout out Apex to it. He's so good. Thank you, George, for showing me him. I just know I, I haven't finished like his whole discography yet, so I might react to him on video. And we finished. Sadly, I wish there was more. Damn, that was really good. Oh my god. I give that track an 85. That was also really good. Why the f is there a dog barking outside? Someone shut that fing dog up! You think you Apollo, you're not Apollo! Okay, so my thoughts on the album. It was really it was really fucking beautiful. It was had nice distortion, and the distortion was made beautifully, as I said like earlier. I don't think it's the best album of this year so far. So my pick for the two best albums of the year are Scare in the Hose by J Big Mafia and Danny Brown and The Beggar by Swans. Those are my two best, and this I would put this up in the top ten of albums of 2023. So yeah, goodbye, good night, everybody. Drill